We're here for another radiation treatment, number four. I also have a maintenance treatment today. So I go to maintenance at 11.20, and then I've got a radiation appointment at 12.20. Take off the jewelry. Now, some of you might ask me, why wouldn't I just keep the jewelry off instead of having to do this every day? Because my jewelry acts as many different things, whether it's protection, helps with my anxiety, keeps me grounded. There are many different things that I like to wear my jewelry for, and that's why I do this every single day. And it's also a way for me to just come and sort of sit here before I need to go check in, be able to get myself grounded and calm in the energy here, and then be able to go into the building. This is my dragon necklace. I got this at a dragon retreat last April. I can't even believe it's almost been a year from that. And then just a herringbone chain all my bracelets so i've got amethyst this is on the left hand now the left hand is the hand that you wear things that you want to receive the power the protection whatever it may be amethyst is great for boundaries transmuting other energies tiger's eye this is great for protection grounding i also have jade for love and compassion connected to the heart chakra evil eye bracelet got this from a soul sister thanks april and then on this side oh fuck well, I did have this, it just broke, which it's a sign I ever had one. It did its job, it is another jade bracelet. Got some other ones. <sighs> I was up at 4.30 this morning. Didn't feel like shit like I did yesterday because we set the intention to be up by 7.30 so that I can move through my morning rituals, my routines, go by the store, pick up a prescription, do a couple errands, and then be here. I tried to go back to bed, but I was like, no, just get up. I was able to even do a load of laundry. I had breakfast this morning. I sat by the fire for a little while. It was really nice to slow down before a day that's going to be filled with a lot of energy. When I mean energy, I mean energy of of one, just to get myself down here. Energy to get myself to the treatment center. Energy to be in the treatment center. Energy to receive the upgrades, the maintenance treatments, and then be in energy around other people. So when I say that it takes a lot of energy to be in a place like this for me personally, and generators, if y'all are a generator in human design, I know some of y'all also can understand this. Or if you are just an empath in general, person who is very susceptible acceptable to energies, starseed energies, you know, whatever you may identify yourself, multidimensional being that you are, it takes a lot to be down here today. <sighs> And it's really rainy out. Take the rain over the snow and the ice all day, every day. I am someone who will always be somewhere early. And if I don't show up early, there's probably a reason why I wasn't pushed out the door or gotten there. And oh, I always trust in that. True life. I'm a multidimensional being on earth school. You start to understand things from a higher frequency energy. You understand that things are not happening to you. They're happening for you. And then in those moments, can you can you see and can you see and can you see with your third eye, with your eyeballs, your heart space? Can you understand and see the lesson that's being presented to you? And if you can, how can you approach it differently this time? Take the lesson and leave the story. Because in the spiral of time, for me, I had to move through breast cancer twice in order to learn the lesson. And we've learned the lesson. We are past the lesson. Now we are getting all the upgrades energetically in the most wild and amazing ways ever. And it really is. How do you view what's happening to you? Again, I believe that we are souls who are here on earth school, here to learn different soul lessons in order to maybe clear karma, maybe fulfill a soul contract, or maybe you're here to heal for your lineage, or you're here to be a generational healer, or you're here to be here to help women rise again. You want to be able to leave this school. And if you never have to come back, you want to know inside your heart that you came here and you learned the lessons and you know how freaking hard it is to be a soul being on earth school. Again, it is treatment, radiation treatment number four. And I have a maintenance treatment, which is also number four. It lined up. Thank goodness I only have one maintenance treatment and radiation on one day, which I'm also not surprised because there's a full moon tomorrow. That's where I'm at today.